Hi guys, welcome to Walkthrough. This is reference LT1239. It's a two bed, two bath townhouse on La Torre Golf Resort. I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough um, with you. Um, I know that there is images on there. There's also a virtual 360 tour, which is excellent. Make sure you actually do use that. Um, but I'm also just gonna do a little walkthrough as well um, to give you a good idea of what this one is all about. So I'll start outside on the street as I always do. Um, so directly in front of the house, you have this kind of sports area here. So you've got, as you can see, a Patenka court there. Um, which is also known as French Bowls. And then you've got a, a table tennis area there as well. So this is directly to the front of the house. The house we're going to is, is just here. It's in kind of like a cul-de-sac, as you can see. Okay, so the obviously all houses come with off-street parking, as does this one. Um, but for extra parking, so visitors and stuff like that, you'd go down that road there or, or just this road over here. So let's have a little walk through so you can see exactly what this house has to offer. So as I say, you've got off-street parking just in this area here. So through the door, straight into the lounge. Well, you come into this kind of small hallway area first, and then that goes straight into the lounge area. So walking in, All nice and neat, all fresh, all tidy. Got a one-seater here and a two-seater here, quite chunky ones. Of course, the terrace leads off from the lounge as well. Terrace also leads off from the kitchen, so we'll have a look at that shortly. All properties in Latari come with gas central heating throughout. Okay, so this one's no different. Also got the AC in the lounge. Now all properties again on the Torrey came with full AC in the lounge and pre-installed in the bedrooms. So as we go around, we'll just check if there's full installation or pre-installation as we walk around. TV point over here. And of course there is um, full um, fiber optic broadband in this resort now as well. So you can achieve speeds now of up to 500 uh, megabit. Um, 30 comes as standard um, included within your community fees, which is extremely rare. So the unlimited internet um, and international TV stations are all included within your community fees here. So kitchen, as I say, it's an open plan style. It's fully fitted. You've got your fridge freezer there, microwave, dishwasher down here. You've got your oven, ceramic hob and hood. And we'll see the washing machine in a minute when we go outside, but the actual utility slash washing machine area is actually outside, which is pretty common in Spain and is the same with all townhouses. So over here, you have the downstairs bathroom. So that is a full size bath, You've got your bidet there, toilet, sink and mirror, and then put just a, a curtain pole up here. You also have a towel heater that's obviously connected to the central heating. Back out, turn right, this is the downstairs bedroom. Uh, I suppose the, this would be bedroom two, right? Um, the master bedroom would be upstairs, the ensuite. So this would be your visitor slash kids room. So set up with two single beds and these are full size single beds. You know, they're not shortened in any way. They're quite long actually, if anything. Inbuilt wardrobe, um, a standard. You have got the AC unit in this bedroom there. Um, and again, of course, your gas central heating. Out the window just looks, actually, it looks directly out over the um, the carport, basically. So if your car was parked there, that's where you'd be looking out onto. So um, just nice and bright room. Out of this bedroom, back out into the lounge area. Let's go to the terrace outside. Um, this door's open here, so you can go out from either door. So this is where you would spend an awful lot of time um, dining, eating, entertaining, having a few drinks. It's completely covered. So you are shaded, which is why most people would use this area for eating. Sun is of course fantastic, but not eating in it, um, especially with the heat that we get here um, for eight months of the year. So, You've got the terrace area here, and then you have this part here, which has just been graveled here. Um, now your plot actually starts from around halfway where this wall is. So it starts from about here, and that's the same we'll have a look in a minute. So this gravelly area is part of the plot, if you like, of this house. 
and a lot of people have extended the tiles right out to the hedge so there's probably a good two meters there um, that you can actually bring it out it actually does make it um, just that little bit more usable and this is obviously where your plot ends here so you can like I say if you wanted to you could actually just extend the tiles right out to the edge so you could fit another big tables and chairs and stuff out here it's completely up to yourself of course you can see what they've done next door they've actually put glass curtains in which a lot of people do to the townhouses um, it just means you can close them up it gives you pretty much a second lounge um, in winter and then in summer of course you can just open it up lovely and sunny here um, it's late afternoon now it's around uh, 3 45 now as you can see nice and sunny okay so like I said your washing machine is actually plumbed out here so it's your washing machine here and this is your gas combi boiler as well so back through the kitchen so I've only came through the kitchen because I just noticed there's a little lock on that door so it's just easier going back towards the front door you've got this area here which I'll just quickly point out this is well as you can see what it is um, it's just a nice big storage cupboard so it's just dead handy for, for anything from golf clubs. Um, you'll fit a bike in there as well. Golf clubs, bikes, suitcases, anything like that. It's just a good, good storage area, which uh, trust me in Spain is, is, is never thought of that often. So it's great to have. Right, let's head upstairs. So up to the first level. So you have two small wardrobes here. Now that's the way they designed this particular style. So you've got kind of two wardrobes either side here. Um, and it just makes, it's because of the style of the bedroom inside, it actually makes it nice and bright and feel a lot bigger as well. So master bedroom. So set up as a double, as you can see. Um, well, that may even be a king actually. Lovely and bright, you've got windows here, obviously the doors here leading out into the terrace, another window here. So it's a lovely bright room. And the master en suite. It's a nice big bathroom, again really bright, you've obviously got the window there, full size bath, toilets, bidet, and your sink around the corner here. Nice and big and bright. Let's have a look out here. So a lovely big terrace. Very sunny now. So this is looking off the perimeter of the resort. It's quite misty. In fact, it's very misty today because you, I mean, I can see the mountains here. You probably won't be able to make it out on the phone, but usually this is very prevalent with mountains here, but it's actually very, very misty today. It's actually been like a, a little bit like that all day today. It's actually very warm now, but it's still got a, a real mist kind of fogginess in the air. You can see the sun is there. This, this orientation is pretty much directly west. So this would have got the sun around about in winter, around about 2 p.m and it will be setting pretty much directly in front of this house. In summer, you'd be getting that around midday and again, it would be setting. So it's a, it's a lot of afternoon sun west facing. You're getting the sun as much pretty much as, well, you are getting it as much as south facing. You're just getting it later and keeping it later. Um, but anything south or west, you're getting plenty of sun uh, and this one you are. Right, let's just go back through the master. So that's the ensuite directly ahead. I'm heading back out onto the landing area where you've got the two kind of wardrobes, which is for that room is because obviously there's no wardrobes in there. Um, you've got another door just directly in front, which again, just looks to the front of the house. And this also has another level. So let's go up the stairs. So this is a, a, what, what people know as a three story. Um, the third story is, is usually just a solarium, certainly on the corner um, townhouses it is just a solarium. On this style, um, it actually does have like a mezzanine level here. Let's see if I can try and get this as, as good as I can. So it's, it's another mezzanine level. Um, a lot of people use this as office space. 
Um, I've actually seen two single beds squeezed up here as well. Um, but um, it, is, um, it is a great space to have. As you can see, they've actually used it for a chest freeze and things, probably from where they're using when they're using the, uh, the solarium and also just to have a, a spare freezer up here. But you can use it for lots of different things, you know? Um, like I say, it's not a bad area. Um, what is it? It's uh, uh, 45, 90, 180. It's around two, two and a, two, just over, I'll say about two and a quarter to two and a half meters wide. And do, 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 do. And just over two meters the other way as well. So it's not bad, you know, it's, it's a nice space. It's probably around six square meters. So it's, it's just a nice area that can be used for, for various stuff. And then of course you've got the, the solarium window here, looking to the back. And you've got the other terrace here. So again, look into the mountains that you can't see today, unfortunately, but that's what you would be seeing on a normal day. And again, a, a fantastic size terrace that goes away, all the way basically from front to back. And then the view at this side is again to the front of the house. And this gives you a much better idea of the, of the shape that I was talking about. So it's like a, it's like a cul-de-sac basically. And at the end of that road there, um, is basically the town centre. So where you can see the white apartment buildings just there, um, that's basically the town centre. So, so you're, you're talking only a five minute walk down to it. Obviously this is a solarium, right? So it gets the sun all day long from morning till night. Um, this one, as I say, is, is west facing. You can see that's, that's caked in sun there. So the back of the house is west. So this is gonna get sun pretty much, as I said, all afternoon. It's a lovely house, guys. Um, it's town center, you know, it's, it's very close to the town center. So close to walk to, to shops. Um, and of course the, well, the supermarkets, the bars and restaurants on site. Um, it's close to walk to all of that. Good orientation, plenty of afternoon sun, late afternoon and evening sun. I would imagine the, the sunsets are going to be fantastic from this terrace as well. And just to note as well, something I didn't mention there, it's got the AC unit up here as well, okay? So there's full AC and full gas central heating throughout. Any questions, let us know. Um, you know, you can ask, you could, like I said, please don't forget there is a virtual 360 tour of this as well on the site. Um, it is excellent because you can get into every nook and cranny and have a good look around. Um, and hopefully this helps you as well um, for people that can't travel at the moment. Any questions, let us know.